Yo, what is going on guys? This is Mike or Geekermon and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. So today, week two of the Xur We Ran Out of Metals challenge. Now last week we were on our Hunter, today we are on our Titan. If you don't know how this works, every weekend when Xur arrives, he brings an exotic weapon and three exotic armor pieces. Our goal is to take the weapon that he gives us and one of the armor pieces and we're rotating through the subclasses each week. So last week was Hunter, this week is Titan, next week we're gonna do Warlock. We essentially have to take the weapon and the armor that Xur is selling, pair it with whatever we want, and try to get a We Ran Out of Metals. So this weekend, Xur brought the Wardcliff Coil, which I already have, but I'm super excited to bust back out because this thing may not be the best in PvP, but it is by far the most fun exotic rocket launcher to fire at people. It absolutely shocks your enemies, they're not ready for it, and I think it just creates some of the funnest moments in the Crucible. So, so we're gonna put this on, and then we also are rocking the Crest of Alpha Lupi, which was one of my favorite exotics in Destiny 1, but not quite the same. They revamped it, it's a little more mediocre in Destiny 2. Generates an additional orb when you have your super and a healing pulse when you do your barricade. Kind of cool, not really top tier as far as PvP goes, but we're gonna hop into the Crucible, try to hit a We Ran Out of Metals with this loadout. You can kind of see the other guns. I have my Masterworks Skate Lock and the Annual Skate that I just got. So, all right, we're gonna push for the power ammo right off the bat because uh, I kind of want, I want to utilize, no, don't take it, guys, don't, no. Oh, please get that third guy. No, we almost had that third guy back there. That would have been too good a start to this game. Man. Oh, I almost had him. I Honestly, I just ran out of ammo. Man. And we have our huge magazine size on this scathe lock, too. So I'm a little bit sad that we weren't able to weren't able to have enough ammo there. All right, let's drop that back there. There we go. Not bad. There's another dude back there, but I kind of want to back up. Check on this power ammo. 16 seconds. Need the Wardcliff coil ammo. I know he's going to be right around that corner. I'm prepped for him. I'm, there, there he is. Oh, I love the scathe lock. No. Oh, he's almost dead. Dude, this, uh, did you not see me waiting in line for this? Or this is my power ammo. Don't you even dare. Dude, the worst, the worst kind of person. All right, well, they're almost dead. You better finish him off back there. Oh, he's got sword ammo. <laughs> I tried so hard. I couldn't fire the hand cannon fast enough. Well, I would have killed him if we had our Wardcliff coil, but my teammate there, True Pico, had to stand there and take my ammo from me. The one rule that I have to put in place for this is you do have to pick up the power ammo at least once or twice and get some kills with it. Otherwise, I just put on Uriel's Gift, run through everybody, and call it a day with the We Ran Out of Metals. That doesn't really count. You gotta actually make it a We Ran Out of Metals. What are you trying to do there? <laughs> Whatever it was, that did not work for that guy. Alright, we have like... 20 seconds left on this power ammo, I think. Yeah, 13 seconds. We gotta get this. Alright, I'm gonna drop this barricade here. They're all back there. <gasps> Just die from the barricade! Oh my gosh. We're dead. I'm dead. What's he... Is he on the rock so he was safe? That is, that's disappointing. I was waiting for him to fall into the barricade and die. Maybe we can actually get over there to it. My hopes are not high, though. My teammates are probably gonna steal it. You know how they are. He's up above. Nice job. All right, let me grab it. Let me grab it. I need this. We got it. We got it. All right, here we go. We've got the Wardcliff coil. Let's go make something happen with it. Wait, we have one shot? That's it? I don't remember that from last time. Let's see how it goes. All right, they're all down here. Wait till they push up. Wait for it. Teammate, no. Oh, teammate, you got destroyed. Yeah! I love it. Oh, I love it. What a fun exotic to use, because there's no way to be prepared for it. I mean, it's just, you're you're going to be shocked when it hits you. That's about how it goes. That was a lot of work for that. And we died in the back. All right, well, let's make some plays with our primary here. And we have our super. So, I mean, we have we have a chance. Let's see. Let's take that guy out first. Another dude down below here. A couple guys over here, actually. There we go. Another dude up there. Watch out. Push up. Nice job. Third dude. Oh snap! My poor teammate. I'm so sorry, dude. I had to. I had to back up. He kind of took the fall there, but what a good teammate. I really appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. There we go. Where's the fourth? Where's the other guy? Where's the fourth? Where's the fourth? No! What? What? 
He had all day to pop his hammer while I just... I'm gonna take four steps back and not do anything. Why did, why did I not continue shooting? That's the real question. I was trying to get up and out of the way, and it just... It did not go as planned. There we go. Nice job. That, I, the hammer shouldn't have killed me. I don't know what I... I tried to back up from him instead of just trying to finish the kill. I don't know if I was just out of ammo or what was going on there. Let's actually go auto rifle at this range. A well fought victory, but a sad lack of we ran out of medals. What are you gonna do? Next game, next game. All right, 23 opponents defeated, 2.88 efficiency, a solid game. We just had the bad play against the Hammer Titan. I thought that I could outmaneuver him instead of trying to continue to fire while he's, because you get a shield when you're popping your super. So I figured it'd be smarter to try to back up and his hammer was perfectly thrown. I jumped up and it went right at me. Honestly, I just gotta get used to the Titan's movement. I don't play the Titan subclass hardly as much as the other classes. And I know a lot of you guys ask me to play Titan. Hunter and Warlock are just where I feel more comfortable in PvP. Titan's really getting out of the comfort... Titan's really getting out of the comfort zone because the movement for me is just way different than the other two. So, I don't know. I still don't... I gotta unlock the hammer. I still don't have the hammer Titan unlocked. During the super, supercharge your fist and slam to the ground. So, you slam with right bumper and then I guess... Or you slam with right trigger and right bumper throws you forward at him. So... I just need to practice and get better with the super, honestly. For you guys, though, I'm going to try to utilize the uh, Striker Titan, or I guess most of the Titan subclass, just a little bit more. I want to include it in the videos. I just got to get better at it because my goal is to bring entertaining videos to you guys. So if I'm not as good with the Titan, it makes it tougher because I don't want to lean on it as much for making good content. But I'm going to practice. I'm going to practice to get better for you guys. All right, we're pushing for the power ammo here. I need the Wardcliff coil ammo. Oh, snap. They're going to be right up there. Keep an eye on them. Yep. So many guys. Right, ah! Nice try. All right, we got to be careful pushing out here. I do not have much health left. Oh, what a nade. What a nade. Did we hit... Did we hit the triple play or was that just two? For some reason, I thought that was three. There's another dude back there, though. I need some Wardcliffe coil ammo, though. Got to make this entertaining. Come on. Ah! I couldn't finish him. I must have missed a couple of my shots. Auto rifle is just so much more forgiving than the hand cannon in Destiny 2. Look at that. So much more forgiving. There's another dude in the hallway back there? I see the guy to my right. Yep, right there. But I'm so far away that I don't think I can kill the guy with the hand cannon. Alright, we are at some serious range disadvantage right now. Let's get this guy. And then there's a dude over to the right. Yeah, oh, snap. Ah! We got him! We got him. Nice. Alright, there's a lot of crests. I'm gonna drop this. They're gonna push for these crests. Try to save some dignity here, and then we're going to get some kills. Or my teammates are going to kill everyone. Wow. All right, we're pushing for the Wardcliffe Coil ammo. Right here. Here we go. Please, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on today. All right, we got it. We are Shax. We're going to spend all of it right here. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh my gosh, it is so much fun to use. All right, ready for the Titan Smash? Here we go. There's two. Let's push this direction. I need more kills. Come on. Where yet? No, run into the ledge, Mike. Perfect. All right, we got a nice little double down there. Now I need to back up, play with my teammates, and stay alive. Please stay alive, Mike. I'm trying to be aware. I see the dude inside, but he knows. He knows better than to peek. No, he doesn't. Wow. Why would you peek that? Bad. Mi big mistake. Huge. All right, let's push up here. Play the objective a little bit so people don't complain about it. Perfect. Oh. They're so far away. Yeah, I'm just going to push up. They're too far away for me to get the kills with the auto rifle. Oh, I hear a guy right in front of me. I'm going to get over this ledge. No, fall down. I almost ran out of the map right there. What? I just want like a couple hand cannon kills, but it seems to be a lot of work. The auto rifle is just so much easier to get kills with on console. So much easier. <gasps> More Wardcliffe. Oh, I think this guy might try to take it from us. Please don't. He did. We killed him, but I think he took our Wardcliffe coil ammo. A little bit disappointed about that, to be honest. We did get, what, a double down with the Wardcliffe coil? The problem is we just can't get power ammo. I'm so excited for that March update. That's going to make things so much easier. Trying to utilize power ammo right now is just tough, just because it's like... You don't get it very often, so in order to do videos on it or to use it, it's like you've really got to camp out by the power ammo. Alright, there we go. Nice. I'm going to keep flanking around. 
They won't be ready for me over here. I think they're on the far side of this rock. Yep. There's that guy's down. There we go. There's the we ran out of metals. Nicely done. Okay, we had two kills with the Wardcliffe coil. Maybe I need to set a rule like four or five kills or some some number of kills because the problem is it's so much work to try to get heavy ammo and Zer's not always going to sell heavy ammo. It's not like we always have to count on Zer to sell heavy ammo, but I just feel like if it is heavy, we need to try to get the power ammo numerous times in order to make it an entertaining challenge. Let's grab it here and uh, see if we can do something with it. Just... Just for kicks here. Let's go. It's kind of a bad map for it, honestly. Let's see. Push right here. <laughs> Favorite PvP exotic, I think. It's just so fun. And it's it's probably the most humorous thing, too. When you get kills with it, it's hilarious. Because your opponents are not even ready for it. 27 opponents defeated. 9 efficiency. Crispy. Good plays. And we'll count it. We'll count it. I think heavy ammo is going to be kind of a... It's kind of a one-off. It depends on... It's completely random, honestly, how much power ammo I get. But we did use it. We got a couple kills with it. And we got the We Ran Out of Metals. So I would call it challenge completed. Now, the other thing is when I popped my super, I didn't really feel the effects of the Crest of Alpha Loopy. My teammates probably did. I was generating those orbs for them, helping them out. But, uh... Kind of a selfless exotic to run. So we got it done. Excited for next week. We are going to be on the Warlock and we'll see what Zer brings us. That's going to do it for this week. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure and smash that like button. If you want to see more Destiny 2 content like this, make sure you subscribe to join the Geek Squad. If you're looking for non-Destiny 2, second channel's down in the description. And if you haven't, go follow me on Twitch. All right, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Peace. Mm -hmm.